Thanks for tuning in. My name is Alex and I'm going to teach you how to use four very important time-saving features in PDF Element. Today, I'll show you how to edit PDF text and images, convert PDF to Word and other formats, digitally sign a PDF, and build a PDF form. So if you don't already have PDF Element installed on your computer, go to pdf.wondershare.com to download a free trial. It fully supports Windows 10 and you can test it out for yourself. So let's get started. With PDF Element, I can edit both the text and the images of a PDF. This is one of the most useful things you can learn to do with PDFs, and it's great for when you need to make quick changes. I've already opened up a document in PDF Element, and I'm going to make a couple of changes to the text. First, I'll click on the Edit Text button, and then I'll select the line of text that I want to change. I'll repeat this process for another section that I want to edit. I also want to remove the image in the top corner of my document and replace it with my own picture. To do that, I'll simply click the Edit Object button right next to the Edit Text button. Then, I'll select the image I want to remove, right-click on my mouse, and select Delete. I could also hit the Delete button on my keyboard. To add a new image to my document, I'll just select the Edit tab and choose Add Image. I'll pick my image and select Open, then drag my image to the right spot of my document. Now, I'll teach you how to convert a PDF to a different format like Word or Excel. Converting a PDF only takes a few seconds, and using this method, you'll maintain your PDF's layout and formatting, and you won't have to retype anything. I want to convert this PDF to a Word document, so I need to select Convert on the Home tab. You have several different formats to choose from, Excel, PowerPoint, Image, Text, and so on. For now, I'll stick with Word format. I can convert multiple files at once, and I can choose the page ranges to convert for each specific file. For this demonstration, I want to convert all pages of this PDF to Word. The bottom line of this window tells me where my converted document will end up, but I can always select Browse and choose a specific folder to send it to. Now I'll select Convert. My Word document is ready, so I'll open up the folder where it is. Let's take a look at this Word document. There you go! The PDF has been seamlessly converted to a Word document. Now let's move on to signing your PDF. One of the major benefits of digital signatures is that they eliminate the cumbersome process of having to print a document and sign it by hand. To sign a PDF with PDF Element, you just need to create a digital signature and apply it to your document. It's easy and it takes less than a minute. In my PDF, there's a section at the bottom asking for my signature. I'll navigate to the Protect tab and select Sign Document. This window is telling me to draw out the area where I'd like to sign my document, which I'll do right now. This window allows me to choose one of my existing signatures or create a new one. I'm going to create a new signature today, which I'll do by selecting New Digital ID that I want to create now. I have two options for storing the signature that I'm creating, a PKCS number 12 digital ID file or the Windows Certificate Store. The one major difference between these two options is that a PKCS number 12 ID requires you to enter your password every time you use your signature. If you use the Windows Certificate Store, then as long as you're logged into your Windows account, you won't need to re-enter your password to use your signature. For today's demonstration, I'll go with a PKCS number 12 digital ID. Here's where I fill in my personal information. Anything with an asterisk is a required field. This section is where I password protect my new digital ID. I can customize the look of my signature by selecting Create New Style under Appearance. I can actually upload an image of my handwritten signature and apply it to my newly created signature instead of typing my name. I'm going to deselect a few of these options to customize my signature. This is an optional step, but I'll choose a reason for signing this file which also appears in my signature. Now, I'll enter my password and I'm ready to hit sign. PDF Element will immediately prompt me to save the changes that I've made to this document, so I'll save it to my desktop. There it is, my digital signature is on my PDF. The last thing I'm going to cover today is how to turn a PDF into an interactive form. Using forms is a fast way to collect information. The person receiving your form doesn't even need to have PDF Element to fill it out any PDF reader will work. I'm going to start with a sample form that I've created in Word. 
I'll turn this Word doc into a PDF by simply dragging and dropping it into PDF Element. On my form, I have lots of places where I'd like my recipient to be able to type in his or her responses. First, I'll select the Forms tab and choose Text Field. As soon as I click that, a handy guide helps me line up the field so that it's just where I want to place it. I want to make the field bigger so someone can enter their full name, so I'll grab the corner and drag it out. To customize the properties of this field, I'll double-click the text box that I've just created. I can make this a required field by selecting the check mark here. In the Appearance tab, I can change the look of the text field that I just created to make it stand out more. I can also choose the size, type, and color of the text that is entered. I'm going to add some more fields to my form, and once I'm done, I'll close this editing window and show you how it all looks. I want to give my recipient lots of space to type in this section, so I'm going to customize this text field a bit by going into the Options tab and selecting Multi-Line. This allows my recipient to scroll up and down and see everything that he or she has written, instead of only one long line of text. We're going to add some checkmark fields in this section, so I'll click the checkbox field and start applying them. Now, I'll jump down to the next section and add a combo box. A combo box is a field that allows the recipient to choose an option from a preset list of choices. I'll double click to add a list of choices that I want the recipient to choose from. Under Options, I'll enter my first option in the item line and hit Add. I'll repeat this process until I've added all of my options. Then, I'll go back to the General tab and enter a tooltip for my recipient. A tooltip allows me to include a suggestion or an instruction which is visible when the recipient hovers over the field. I'll enter, please choose one. Finally, I'll add a place for my recipient to add his or her digital signature. I'll click the digital signature button under the forms tab and draw out a space with my mouse. Now, let's close the form editing window and see what I've made. Here's my interactive form that I created using PDF Element. I can even fill out the form that I just created by selecting any field and simply start typing. Well, there you have it. These four features of PDF Element will make life so much easier when working with PDFs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you're ready to put it to good use. And don't forget to download a trial of PDF Element and test everything you've learned for yourself. If you like this video, share it with your friends. And stick around for another tutorial video coming soon.